Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name is Mark and this is my wife Tara and we have something exciting to show you here that was sent to us by MakeBlock, uh, which are the makers of the X-Tool Diode Laser Engraver. Uh, so if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we do have uh, some other equipment, uh, a CO2 laser engraver. Uh, Tara's going to get ready with her safety glasses a little earlier. Um, so a CO2 laser and a diode laser are two different pieces of equipment. The CO2 laser has a higher or a larger uh, wavelength um, and the uh, diode laser has a smaller wavelength. So um, doing different things with different pieces of material. Uh, now this is a 10 watt. The CO2 I have is a 50 watt. Uh, of course, that's gonna cost you more money. And Tara likes this machine. <laughs> Uh, she's very safe as well, um, because of its ease of use. So she was very intimidated by the CO2 laser Not and very, the program. Not very, just, just intimidated. Well, you didn't want to get into yes. it. So this one is much easier to learn and actually much easier to set up. Uh, when we received it, Tara and I set it up, and it took us about 35 minutes yeah. uh, to set it up from scratch. Uh, the uh, information was clear to read. Uh, it comes with a nice manual uh, so that you can follow along and set it up. The other nice thing is it is metal, uh, not plastic. Yeah. Um, so it is very durable construction. Uh, it's relatively new. I believe they've been making the X tools since 2018. Uh, and this is one of the, uh, the newer launches. So it's a 10 watt di diode laser. I speak properly, uh, which is a, uh, it's actually a two five watt laser configuration. Uh, now this doesn't come with any kind of exhaust. And as you can see here, we're in the kitchen <laughs> and we've been using this in the kitchen. Uh, I've even done uh, a cracker, <laughs> which you can do foods. You just wanna make sure that you don't do them too powerful uh, because you will get that burn flavor in there. So uh, for all you bakers out there, um, you could look at uh, engraving your own, uh, your own baking. Well, and it wasn't the machine, the other machine that intimidated me. It's the software. It's the software that yeah. intimidated me. I mean, I, you know, I like my power tools. It's that end of it that was, yeah. Yeah, and, and the software is LaserBox Basic. Uh, there are a couple other programs that you can use. There's an app version for your phone. Haven't used that yet. Uh, I just, you know, bigger screen, easier to use on well, a computer. And I can navigate it very easily. Yeah, so good. the laser box program um, really has everything you need. Yeah. Now, if you're doing any kind of photos, now we did, I did a test. Um, I could have done a little bit better on this. Uh, but it's actually the lighthouse out by our pond. Um, I could have thrown it into Photoshop and probably did a better job than a website that I used to turn it into a, to a file. Um, but you can clearly see that it is a lighthouse. Uh, so there is going to be, uh, you know, some learning curves. And that is, I think, the big difference between the different types of programs to use. This one's nice and basic, easy to use. Yeah. Uh, I throw everything into Photoshop if I'm going to be doing any kind of emblems or any kind of you photos did this photo on the uh, and do that. Yeah, so this here um, is, a, it will do glass, uh, but you have to coat it. So a CO2 laser, uh, a CO2 laser you don't have to uh, coat, uh, but you need something. Things. Yeah, so this is just a Rust-Oleum uh, flat black paint. So what I did is I went outside and I sprayed down three test cups uh, because of course uh, we're just learning here and we wanna make sure that we get it right. Um, now we do have the, uh, uh, I wanna call it a rotisserie, <laughs> uh, rotary the rotary tool, tool uh, and the cup fits into the rotary tool. So you can, you can do, um, it's adjustable so you can do smaller sizes. Uh, now, what else can you engrave? So you can engrave, of course, wood. You can engrave stainless steel. Tara's been doing some pens today. Um, she had somebody interested in, um, in getting some, here, some yeah. custom. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also her Leatherman. So I got Nobody's her... Nobody's taken my Leatherman. I got her Leatherman, and it is engraved uh, stainless steel. There's no preparation required. And when I say there's no preparation... Uh, 
it means a clean surface. So you want to make sure that there's no oils or dirt or grime uh, from being out in the yard. A little alcohol. And I just put uh, some 70% IPA in a spray bottle uh, and then just wipe it down just to make sure it's a clean surface. Uh, they do send, uh, or they did send, some materials. Uh, so there is a stainless steel dog tag here. We haven't done anything I don't know yet. Who to do. I only well, that's the thing. <laughs> we have one dog tag. We have three dogs. So I think maybe we'll have to get a few more dog tags. Yeah, they tags. send you a few, few uh, sample. Um, the things. nice thing is, yeah, with this, uh, so this is a thin metal plastic business card, I guess you could say. Uh, and it's it's a metal, it's a aluminum, it's really thin, mm -hmm. and it's coated with a black paint. Uh, so this here, it will engrave off the black paint and leave a nice uh, crystal clear, you know, if you want to do some uh, some yeah. business cards, something interesting. I want to try keys too. We will try keys, yeah. yeah. Um, so getting back to this, this was something that I, you know, I've been watching a few videos on laser engraving and, you know, using epoxy and all the neat stuff. We're not quite there yet. Uh, but what I did is the town of Enola, so where we live. I put in all of the roads and I labeled them and it actually turned out really nice. Uh, so something like this Except is... Except you forgot to put the 10 acre woods on there. No, but that can be put in <laughs> afterwards. So I did think of that. I could have put the 10 acre woods, a little emblem in here. But we can always add things yeah. afterwards. Uh, I wanted to make sure that it was actually going to turn out good yeah. before I got fancy with it. <laughs> I think they sent about uh, six or eight sheets. So uh, I got it on the first try, so that was good. Right. All right, so I think that's it for their um, safety. Yes, Tara was holding the oh. fire extinguisher and had her Get glasses your green on. Get glasses. So just make sure that you have uh, a fire extinguisher when you're using this. Um, depending on what you're going to be um, engraving, there's always that danger. And you can pick up a fire extinguisher well for, uh, for fairly cheap. Do you want to yes, also watch what you're engraving. When I did that map of Enola, it was smoking pretty good. So we have an HRV uh, for exhaust ventilation. I made sure I turned that on and we had no fire extinguisher go off. The plastic pen today. Watch your plastics yeah. for... Yeah. For smells and, and whatnot. Yeah. And the nice thing is you can take this outside. So we have some picnic tables out uh, in right. our picnic area. Plop this right onto the picnic table. Uh, it's fully movable uh, and it has some feet. We've just kind of yeah. tied them all together. Uh, but it has feet to raise them up. So you'll need two of these extra on each of the corners sure. when you're using the rotary tool. Um, uh, it's relatively quiet as well. Uh, so if we turn this on, yeah, it doesn't interfere with my court shows at all. <laughs> yeah, when Tara's watching TV, <laughs> she can still hear the TV as she's working away here. Uh, so it's relatively quiet um, and, um, and, and mobile. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start off, we'll just give you a quick rundown of the program and what it entails. Uh, this is a ruler and I've already put the 10 acre woods on it. Uh, so uh, we will just do another one. So the first thing is, yeah, my assistant here. My assistant. I, it's the boss. <laughs> okay. The boss here. I'm the boss. All right. So um, just cleaned it off uh, with some isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, that stuff stinks. Yeah, it smells, <laughs> smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> you did use glass so <laughs> I am just going to line this up with the other ruler because you want to make sure that you get, uh, you get it lined up if you're doing a bunch of these, right? Uh, so bring it in. And then in opening up the program, so we're going to go and insert text, and then we are going to just click there. It says click to enter or to edit text, uh, the 10 acre woods. Uh, now the size here that I did is the size that it shows here. So it's 11.3 millimeters high and 80 millimeters or eight centimeters long. When I initially did the, uh, the test, I left it at that, so I am going to leave it there. Uh, since we just turned on the machine, it's not connected, so we want to click there and click connect. Uh, and then we just hit the little play button. Uh, that's going to do its magic, and it's going to come up to this screen. Uh, so your speed here is not your laser speed. Uh, this is how fast the framing will work. Uh, and then this distance here 
is your incremental distance to adjust the laser head. Um, I usually have that down on one, uh, just so I can get that fine tune adjustment. So now the blue dot is in the top left corner, uh, and that's going to be where your laser is positioned. If you're doing a cup and you want it all centered, you would just simply drag and drop this into there and line up your laser to the center point. Uh, but we're going to put it back up here where it was because uh, that's what I had it set at. Now, when you adjust your amounts here, you can see how it's moving incrementally. And it's lined up to the next one. And that's about where it's going to be. So I'm going to hit framing. I'm going to make sure it's lined up evenly. And it looks good. I'll just do that one more time. Yeah, so that looks all right. So now we want to adjust the height. Uh, and we do that by clicking down on this little kickstand right here. Uh, it's a magnetic kickstand. And you want that to come down and just touch the top, resting on the ruler. And then you just bring that kickstand back up like that. Uh, and that's about it, and we're ready to go. So, you got your glasses on? I'm going to look away because we only have one set of glasses. <laughs> so, I will now hit on start. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Looks like it's done. And now we have a nice laser engraved ruler uh, that doesn't rub off. It's a little warm, um, but uh, that's to be expected. Uh, so Tara's got a few more of them. She wants to do all of them. So uh, now that it's all set up, she can, uh, she can get to work on that. Uh, so that is it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I hope you learned something about this. If you're a hobbyist out there or a crafter. Get one. Or just want to use lasers <laughs> because they're fun. Uh, <laughs> then go ahead and, uh, and check out the link down in the description. Uh, and like always, if you have any questions about this video, please leave them down below. Until next video, take care and have a wonderful week. And there's a link in the description. And there's a link in the description. Got it. Bye-bye. <laughs>